Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and today I have something very exciting, and it is in a box. A box that is out of arm's reach that I should have prepared for, and I will grab in a second. But in that box is my new Foxfire MBS, MBS standing for Modular Blaster System. If you've never seen a Foxfire or aren't familiar with it, I will include some information to Ben of Impact 489's, uh, to his Nerf channel, his uh, Etsy store, because Foxfires are very cool, and I've actually liked the aesthetic of them ever since I got to play with one at Endwar. I, I met Ben there and got to shoot a couple rounds off, and I like the idea. But why did I decide on the Talon? because I wanted something that was a little bit different than some of the other flywheel blasters I have that are 3D printed, like I have an FDL-3 that shoots full lengths, and I talked to Ben really quickly and I said, hey, do you have any recommendations? And he said, Foxfire Talon, used it last weekend, really liked it. And so I was like, hmm, let me think, Katana or Talon? And I decided on Talons. So the ultimate decision and what I'm sticking with in the debate, I like the Talons a little bit more because they feel more durable. You can actually get some different color options, which is nice too. And yeah, they are cheaper. So I could actually get some more of these for way less. And also I saw on Reddit, someone made like a double stacked holster using just the original worker like cardboard. So I'm gonna do that too. I don't know who you are. I will, I will post it somewhere here to give you credit. I got a lot more Talon magazines to prepare for this blast room. Let's grab it though. This is a box. This box arrived today. I just opened it. Let's get inside. Whoosh. And first off, wow. What? I don't think you actually get worker darts with your order. I think he just sent me some of these. <laughs> and, and a transparent Talon bag too. Dude, that's really kind of you. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Welcome to the Foxfire family. Your Foxfire MBS blaster is a hobby grade blaster that shoots foam darts much harder than toy grade blasters. Always wear eye protection when using this blaster and never shoot at another person who is not wearing eye protection. Can never recommend that enough, so I like that you put it in writing. Also, you should only use soft tip darts with your Foxfire blaster. Hard tip darts can damage the flywheels and should be avoided, among other reasons. So this is a nice little sheet that he included with my order and it gives some information like that introduction and then some power system lipo battery uh, info safety care and maintenance i like that it's nice when people uh give you know these safety instructions so that even someone who's completely new and they're like oh i want to order this blaster they are kind of forced to see this immediately and hopefully they don't ignore it oh look it's in blue but it's <laughs> but it's not in blue little business cards be gone, box. Oosh. Ooh, that is clicky. That is a lot clickier than I thought. Wow, there's a lot of feedback on that trigger pull. It's a nice, nice fit too. But these pieces are all separate, so if I did happen to have an oopsie with this front part, I'm pretty sure I could reprint that piece or contract someone to reprint that piece. I don't have a 3D printer um, and it will be just fine. And then obviously, as you can see on the side, semi-auto. It's semi-automatic, not automatic. And then impact 489, 4, 498 on the side. Have I been saying 489? I hope not. Woo, it has been a day. Right now, the mag is definitely in there snug. Uh, and it is weird to have the mag release with the talons all of a sudden. The handle is just fine for my hand as well. Rev trigger is clicky and responsive. There's a little sling point on the handle too. And I can see there's some dart dust in there. So he has tested this, which means I, I'm assuming it works. Hooray. All right, so this is going to be my firing range. This is obviously not my place. This is out of darts HQ. Uh, here is the Foxfire, and what I have to say right off the bat, when you do put the battery in, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is freaking loud, and I understand why. It is a 3S battery, and there's not much right here or right here, and it probably reverberates through there too to make it sound nice and loud. I did some 
firing really quick just to prove to myself these darts these are cut down z tips i uh, don't use these these will fall under the definition of darts with hard tips like that just will not feed through these accufake half darts will work so let's let's do some firing let's do some mag dumping Sweet, none of the darts actually lost their heads on that. Okay, I've talked about how this comes apart, but I haven't actually shown it. So let's go over that right now. Here are four screws that have been taken out, two from the front and then two on the so once you unscrew those, you literally just lift and pull. And that's one piece. Yeah. It's hard to do this at an angle. Um, and same for the back. Look at that. Nice and easy. So now you've got, a f I've run that in a war, Look at that range. That's why you can easily print and service uh, different magwell adapters and your front flywheel motors power piece. So in that sense, if one of, you know, if you drop your blaster and this front just gets completely smashed, get, get a new front, your blaster isn't broken, which is sweet. Now keep in mind, I would not recommend running it without these screws inside these pieces because otherwise there is some uh, flexing. There's some bending moments you might see and that could actually yeah, fall out, which would be not so good. So definitely put your screws back in to those four slots once you're done taking it apart. So let's wrap up my initial impressions of the Foxfire Talon. I've got to say, right off the bat, I really like this thing. Now, obviously, I haven't gotten a chance to use this in a game yet, so that will require more attention for sure. Uh, but what I can say right off the bat is I'm looking at a lot of darts I've fired. I've gone through at least 10 magazines so far, and I actually haven't lost another head, which is good. I was worried at first that this was going to be a, a worker dart head ripper offer, like many things happen to be. But actually, so far, so good, which I'm, I'm happy about. Um, obviously, more testing will prove if that's true or not. Biggest downside, I have to say, is just how loud it can be. Now, that is mostly just when you don't have anything inside it and you're just getting that raw rev up. Um, when you're firing darts, it's a little bit nicer. And also, when you're not inside, it's probably a bit nicer. Now, I am in a confined space, so that doesn't help. Um, but because this is so open on both sides and because it's a bit... It feels like it echoes a bit in that shell too. Maybe that doesn't help. Don't hold it up to your ear. But I do like the general profile. I think this stock actually looks pretty good. It's okay. This is all completely open and there's actually no barrel right here. So you could almost just cut it right, right there. Uh, I would like to see more people design pieces that could maybe go on the front. Um, I like the general look of it though still. I, I do like how this all fits together and how this can detach, which is also pretty cool, which means I might get a full dart um, adapter in the center down the road and maybe even a dual stage front part. We, we shall see. Um, this being exposed to just realizing we are in the Pacific Northwest, water is a thing. I might be a little more concerned about bringing this outside on a wet, damp day. I have to say too, the print quality is acceptable and I feel a bit spoiled just because I have, uh, I'm in Out of Darts' workshop. I have a, an FDL as well. Those are some very, very fine uh, 3D printed blasters. And I've also seen uh, workers F10, triple five stuff, which is usually quite good too. And this is also, it, like I said, it's acceptable. Compared to those, it's lesser quality, but that doesn't mean it's bad. What else can I say about this? It's cool. I, I really want to use this in a game. I like having more half dart 
magazines and half dart darts. I want to I want to see how that goes. I haven't really talked about FPS numbers. It was claimed with this cage 125 and I can't tell you if that's appropriate or not. Even if I shoot myself with it, I'm not sure. For being 120 bucks, it's almost like you get one FPS for every dollar you pay. And I think that's pretty good. Also, I think, uh, I just want to touch on that again, $120 for this, everything you see here, except a battery, I think that's a very fair price to pay for a blaster. A blaster that's obviously had some tinkering, you know, this was built from the ground up, um, and it ha it's a system that you don't see everywhere else. And it's a really cool system, and it's just so easy to unscrew these two screws on each side and take these pieces apart and disconnect them and put on a new part and you're good to go. I don't think there's anything else that does it that easily um, with one connection for your LiPo. I, I really commend uh, Ben from Impact 498 for coming up with this and uh, expanding upon it. I wanna see what more people do with it because I probably won't be the one who, who does anything, but I think it's a super cool concept and I, like I said, I can't wait to use this in an actual game. Let me know what you think of the Foxfire Talon or the Foxfire MBS system. If you have one or if you want to get one, I would love to know your thoughts about it. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you later. Oh, that's loud. Oh.